Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I start this video, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave comments down below for content you want to see in the future. Before I start today's video, I want to give a big... Honey always wants to be included. She's squeaking this toy, but whatever. I want to give a big... Happy birthday, happy 25th birthday, shout out to my cousin Risha. She's probably my biggest subscriber, my biggest um, um, supporter. That's the word I was looking for. My biggest supporter on my channel. She always watches my videos. She's amazing. So happy birthday. Happy birthday, you look pretty. <laughs> Y'all, I'm going to leave her Instagram at name in the comment section down below. So go ahead and go follow her on Instagram. I don't know her at name on the top of my head to so just spell it out but i'm leaving it in the um in the description box below and y'all can go to her instagram and y'all can um wish her a happy birthday and follow her okay so in today's video i'm gonna be doing like a little um a little day in the life um day in the life because i work in a hospital so i can't really take y'all in the hospital so i'm just kind of running y'all through my day um you see my morning you see how ugly i look at six o'clock in the morning so yeah and how ugly i look at 5 23 p.m because i just got home from work i just took off my scrubs and i have on a robe Ugh, my hair looks busted and disgusted but i want to film my intro before i forgot because then it was just gonna be a whole Thing and I was never gonna post the video, but that's neither here nor there. It's here. So if you're interested to see what I do in a day, what I do as an essential worker to society, yes, <laughs> keep on watching and let's jump right into the video. Wash my face, brush my teeth, and then I'm gonna head out the door as fast as I can because I'm always waking up late. So, yeah, keep watching. The camera in the car be so close to my grill. Okay, y'all, I'm about to pull up and drop Honey off. She's over there shaking in her boots because she's like, "Why the hell am I in the car?" Um, let's see if I can just pull up my side because I gotta go. I'm running late as always. What did it say? Hello, we are open. We're glad you're here. Please wait outside and call to speak with our team before coming in. All right, y'all. Let me call these folks. Come on, honey. Oh. She's pressed like a panini. All right, y'all. Let me go drop this bean head off real quick. Honey, say bye. Okay, that looks better. Y'all, honey just acted a clean fool in these people's at, uh, office. She was like, where are we talking about? Um... But yeah, I had to drop my dog off. It is now 7.07. I'm about to go ooh, ooh, and get Starbucks. I don't even really drink coffee like that, but I'm kind of tired, so I need to get some coffee. Um, plus, it's free for healthcare workers, so you know, you gotta love a good free. Um, and I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm probably just gonna get a little fun. So, um, yeah, so, as y'all know, I work in a hospital now. I'm in inpatient pediatric occupational therapy. Um, so I can't really, like, take y'all with me to work because it's, you know, laws against recording in hospitals and stuff. Y'all see how that road just dip like that? <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it's like laws against like um, recording and stuff in the hospital, so I can't really um, do that. But while I'm on my job, I'm gonna just kind of give y'all a little rundown about what I do in a day. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, y'all. It's like, it's too early. So, oh, 7.08 on the clock. That's my um, Yeah, so basically, I usually leave for work around this time, like 7, 7, 10 every day. I only left a little bit early, obviously, because I had to drop the dog off. Um, and it's just, like, right down the street from my house, but it's the opposite way of the expressway, so I just need to leave a little early. Um, but, yeah, I need to be at work at 8, and I drive right now because there's no traffic. Um, it only takes me, like, 30 minutes to get there, but the thing is, the gag is, I have to um, park, so basically at the hospital, because it's like the medical center, if you know anything about Houston, Houston has this huge medical center, and there's like 50,000 hospitals like packed into one little area, and basically there's like 
virtually no parking over there. Like, literally, I have to park at a parking lot that's like two miles away from the hospital, and then I have to take a shuttle to get to work. Um, and right now, it's only a shuttle because of all of this coronavirus stuff. But normally, it would be like the train, so they give you like a metro car, and you can like take the train from the parking to the to your to your hospital. Um, and like most of the hospitals do this, so like all the employees and like all the staff have to park pretty far, or you gotta pay like a hundred dollars a month to park in one of the parking lots and i'm just like y'all about to pay me just to take my money so i can park no okay so yeah i have to like get there a little bit earlier so like, i have to be there at eight like really i want to try to get there <clears throat> by like 7 30 to 7 45 so that i can um park and get the shuttle so that i can get to work on time and then also i have to leave extra time because since all of this coronavirus, we have to like get screened every day when we go to work. Literally, you have to walk in, get your hand sanitizer, get your mask, and they then they like ask you, you know, have you had any symptoms, whatever. And if you say yes, you're gonna get the boot. So of course, you know, you gotta say no. But if you get, you know, I ain't had no symptoms, so I always say no. And then, um, sorry, I'm looking at the menu. I really don't order Starbucks coffee like that. So I really don't know what to get. I'm about to just tell her to do like caramel and mocha together. Can I do that? We'll see. Um, yeah, so you have to get screened. They give you a mask and then they take your temperature. Um, <clears throat> and then that's it. Okay, hold on. Hi, can I have um, a tall iced coffee for the healthcare workers? Um, <laughs> can I do, are you able to do like mocha and caramel flavoring or no? I can do the caramel flavoring, but the mocha is an extra part. So it's a heavy sauce. Okay, well, can I just do mocha or no? You can, but it's going to settle uh, first. Okay, that's fine. Let me do caramel and mocha together. Okay. Do you think it will be like um, sweet enough like that? Okay, because last time when I just got mocha, she put, like, um, vanilla. Oh, okay. But with the caramel, it'll probably be sweet, right? It'll be the same. They're both the same kind of style. Can I do, like, two extra pumps of vanilla? Yeah, are you, no, can I do caramel mocha and then, like, some vanilla? I think she did two pumps of vanilla and then cream. And then, can I have a, um, one blueberry muffin? Just that. And that's it. Okay, one blueberry muffin. All right, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, look, she said it's going to be an extra charge for the mocha. They didn't tell me that last time. Um... So yeah, then you gotta get your temperature taken and then you can go and be free. Um, so once you get your temperature taken, they give you like a little sticker that says you've been checked. So I have to take that off because that's from yesterday. Like I said, we gotta wear a mask. I literally have been saving the mask because I don't know if it's gonna be like a shortage or whatever. So I have um, probably about, let me see, um, like 50 masks. No, I'm just playing. It's probably like 12, 13, 14, 15, something like that. Um, I've been saving them. At first, I was throwing them away after I was leaving. But then one of my coworkers was like, no, no, no. Like, you gotta save them because, you know, if we, if we run out, then you're gonna be out of luck. And I'm like,
she looks to see, you know, if we have any new patients, any new people um, that got admitted into the hospital. And she puts them up there. Basically, because when patients come in the hospital, they don't automatically get, you know, occupational therapy. Um, they get, like, referred by the doctor. Like, the doctor will say, OT, eval and treat. And then we eval and treat. Some people they don't put it for, but they actually need it. So there's somebody who goes and see if people need referrals. I don't know how that whole process works, and I really don't care to know. Because that's... <laughs> I'm not getting paid to do that, so whatever. Um, then, so basically I come in, I look at the board. My name is up there. And then I have a list of patients underneath my name. Sorry, y'all, I just drove like an a-hole. A list of patients underneath my name. And then I basically go on the computer. I look at the patient's chart. <coughs> y'all seen that sound smack me in the head. Um, I look at the patient's chart. I look at basically why they're here. I look at their past medical history. Like, what do they have going on? I see if they have, like, any surgeries. I see... You know, just try to get a, a good idea of the patient, a good idea of what they have going on. And then it kind of gets tricky because, since I'm, like I said, I'm still in training, so I still have to, like, go with somebody else. So I have to kind of, like, plan because I have two different um, training people, train, trainers. Yeah, trainers. Um, so I kind of just have to plan my day around what they have to do um, around my patients because, like, sometimes you'll have, why is there so many people on the road? What is going on? All these non-essential bitches is out here. Ooh, I'm sorry. I can't say curse words. All these non-essential folks is out here. To do what? What y'all doing? What the what? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? It's gonna take me too long to get to work. Um. I lost my train of thought. Um. I'm so bad at doing YouTube videos. Wow. Grab my schedule around theirs and then I go see patients. So for me, I like the older kids. I don't so okay, let me run it back a little bit. So in inpatient pediatric as an occupational therapist, a lot of times you'll see OTs in the NICU. So if you don't know what the NICU is, it's basically for like premature babies, like babies who are born very prematurely or even somewhat prematurely who need like special care. So it's the neonatal intensive care unit. So like you know if you ever had like a family member get really sick, they'd be like they in the ICU. So the NICU is the, the baby I see, basically. I don't really care for the NICU. I don't like being with these teeny tiny babies because I just feel that I'm gonna break somebody's kid and I don't want those problems, so no. But basically in the NICU, it's a lot of like bottle feeding, um, basically trying to get the babies ready, like and able to eat on their own because a lot of these kids have like problems with like coordination of like eating and like their swallowing isn't amazing. So like basically OTs will work on that um, they'll make the, the recommendation for what, like, type of nipple to use. And before this, I did not know that there was 511 types of bottle nipples. Like, they're like, oh, we got the green, the yellow, the blue, the purple. I'm like, huh? Um, and then there's like, oh, if they, and those are still too fast. So basically, each nipple has its own type of, like, flow. And they're slower and faster flows, obviously. A slower flow would be for a kid who has problems, like, if the milk is coming out too fast, they might choke, they might aspirate, etc., etc. Yeah, and then there's like stage one, two, three, four nipple, um, preemie nipple, ultra preemie nipple, and I'm like, huh? So yeah, I'm just not really interested in feeding that much. Like, I'm interested in feeding like older kids, like for sensory issues and stuff, but that's not really what we do in the hospital. Um, but yeah, the bottle feeding is not my skills. But then there's the older kids, so we have like the PICU, which is like the pediatric ICU, so like the older kids, I like the PICU, and then there's like, just like floor level units, like kids who come in for like surgeries, or um, like the trauma kids, I love trauma kids, like traumas as in like car accidents, gunshot wounds, um, I've been seeing a lot of kids who've been getting hit by cars, that's the type of stuff I like, I don't like feeding babies, it's boring to me, like, I'm sorry if y'all like that, I don't like it, so, I've been getting trained more on the the um, the older kids, and as of late, we've been seeing a lot more trauma, which I like. Um, so basically, what I do is I go in and assess how the patient, how the child is doing. So you go, you see, um, you talk to them if they're old enough, because I see kids like literally we see kids from zero to eighteen. The oldest one I've had so far has been like fifteen, I think. Um, but yeah, you talk to them, you ask them how they were functioning prior to coming in. You know, you figure out. Sorry, I put a big piece in my mouth. We figure out, um, you know, were they doing things for themselves? And then when the kids are little, it's more like developmental. It's like, do they walk? Do they crawl? Do 
do this, do that, do they play, what do they do? You know, if it's older kids, it's like, okay, what do you have to do for school? What do you have to, um, do you have like a job? You know, whatever. Basically, we want to see, as an occupational therapist, we want to see what you need to be able to do when you leave, like, to get back to your prior level of function. And then once I figure out what they were doing before, I see where they're at now, and I basically make goals, um, and work with them. In the hospital, it's a little bit different because it's like, people are usually not there for super long, but with pediatric populations, they tend to be there a little longer than like you would see like in an adult setting just because there's so many different things and like, you just have to make sure they have everything you need to go home. Like, especially with kids, when kids get hurt, it's, it's always gonna be a social services type of situation just to make sure there's nothing going on at home, making sure, I don't wanna say always, but like, usually like there is social services involved to see like, what, what what happened and why did this happen? It depends on the injury. Like, we see a lot of kids who get burned. And you, it, it, it baffles me how many kids get burned by people forcing them into hot water. Like, what the fuck? Like, why y'all doing that? What? Like, and it'd be like the mama um, boyfriend. Like, I wish a, I would be in jail. I would literally, let somebody put my baby in some hot water. I don't even got a baby. But my, my future baby, let somebody put, put, Stick my baby in some hot water if you want to. I would be locked up. Locked up. Because you would be dead. Like what? Girl, boy, whoever watching it, look. Anyway, so yeah. I go to the patients. I work on different stuff with them. And of course with kids, you got to like play with them. So it's a lot of like, kids be crying, okay? Kids be like, oh, it hurt. Everything hurt. Oh, you know, over the top dramatic. We get the real dramatic ones that be like, this hurt, this hurt, this hurt, everything hurt. I can't move. Like, and they'd be like seven year olds. They'd be like, uh, like, sir, come on, you okay? Let's go. Get up, get up. Like you gotta, you gotta put that stern. Get up in your voice, but you also to be like, oh, sweetie, like you're doing amazing, sweetie. You know that type of thing. So yeah, that's basically what I do. Um, I'm supposed to get off at like four, four thirty. The last few days. Ooh, I hate when it be a wide low on the expressway because they take up like 57 lanes. Ooh, y'all gonna make me late. But anyway, I've been getting off at like 5 o'clock. The other day I didn't leave to almost 6 o'clock. Like what? Yo, they have this wide low and it's literally dinkleberry. I wanted to say something else, but I'm trying to be culture. Cultured for YouTube and not get demonetized for cursing these people out that don't know how to drive. Broken bones, um, oh, I look bad. 
gunshot wounds, that type of stuff. Um, and they've been getting them in and out as fast as possible. So, um, yeah. I did a couple feedings today. Like I said, I'm not really a NICU person. Like, I'm not really a feeder. So, well, no, I did. Did I do Come on, lady. Let's, let's move. I did a couple feeders. And I'm getting better at it, but I'm going to need some time. That's generally it, my day. Um, if y'all want more, really, like, a day in the life, like I said, I can't really record, so it's kind of hard. Um, but, yeah, it's 4 o'clock. It's probably about to take me, like, 30 minutes. I got to go pick my dog up from the vet, and then I'm going to go home and do nothing. Like, I'm literally going to strip all these clothes off. Um, since corona has been a thing, I have been, like, taking my scrubs off at the door. I've been, like, lifestyle in my car, like, my seat and my steering wheel. Um, I still have my, um, I keep my hand sanitizer right here, so, like, when I got in the car, whoo, it's hot. <laughs> when I got in the car, I put hand sanitizer on. But I've been, like, taking my clothes off as soon as I get home and, like, washing everything right away because I don't need that in my life. Um, nobody on our team has gotten it, so I think we're doing pretty good. Um, yeah, that's it. That's that's what I do during the week. This is what I look like. I have a band-aid on because I was bleeding. That was random. But yeah, I'm happy it's Friday. I'm going to go do nothing. I'm probably going to edit this video tonight because I'm sure I said a bunch of nothing. Um, if y'all have questions about what I do, go ahead and DM me on Instagram at underscore Maisha. Um, <coughs> Yeah, it's just like really, really hot. So I'm like choking on the the hotness. I don't know. I don't have corona though. I'm good. Um, yeah, like I said, if you have questions, DM me. If you have questions about any other, anything else, come on. Anything else, um, DM me. Comment down below videos you want to see in the future. Um, make sure as always to subscribe to my channel. I think it's right here again. I, just, I, I, I think it's on my left. Thanks for watching as always. Um